It's Monday, October 24th, 2011, and this is the Nittany Minute. Penn State picked up a key 34-24 win Saturday night at Northwestern, and that moves Penn State to 7-1 overall. They're now 4-0 in the Big Ten, and based on what happened in East Lansing, where Wisconsin loses on a final desperation Hail Mary play, Penn State is now in the driver's seat for the leaders division in the Big Ten. And at this point in the season, I don't know how many people actually thought that was going to be a realistic possibility. I've been saying all along, Penn State was going to be in very good position heading into their bye week. I felt that they were going to pick up wins against Indiana and Purdue rather easily. I figured Northwestern was pretty much a toss-up, and for the first quarter, and really the first half, it really was, but the Penn State defense just showed why they're so dominant, making those halftime adjustments once again to shut down the opposition and secure a victory. And obviously the Iowa game was pretty big, and not only emotionally, but as far as the standings are concerned. Now here's where everything's going to develop, because this is going to be a big weekend for Penn State. It's going to be a big weekend for the Big Ten, because you're going to have Wisconsin going to Ohio State, putting Penn State fans in an awkward position to root for the Buckeyes, because if Wisconsin can be handed a second loss and handed a loss in division play, that leaves the door wide open for Penn State to run through this division and possibly make it to the Big Ten championship game. Obviously, a lot of football to be played, and they need to win this weekend against Illinois, who has lost two straight games. Maybe they're falling back to earth a little bit, but maybe they have a little something to prove. So it's going to be a very tough matchup once again, just like it was last year. Obviously, Penn State hopes that this year's game against Illinois turns out a little differently, and they'll also need some help around the rest of the conference. Obviously, if Wisconsin can lose, that's big, but more importantly, Penn State controls their own destiny. They have games against Nebraska, Ohio State, and Wisconsin, which are going to be very tough after the bye week. But if they can pick up a win this weekend against Illinois and get into that bye week with a 5-0 conference record, they may become the team to beat. You know, it's a little far-fetched, but it's very much a possibility at this point. I'm Kevin McGuire for the Nittany Minute. Follow me on Twitter at PSU Examiner, and we'll be back tomorrow with a new daily Nittany Minute. S-T-A-T.